beautiful day. 55 degrees. Real sunny out. Had to go back to the iced coffee. I like this uh, Dunkin' Donuts. It's uh, not too far from the scrapyard. They got the ice that's like, uh, it's all like little bits instead of just cubes. I like that. Fills the whole cup with ice. Go to that one near me and they put in, order an iced coffee, they put like, you know, that much ice in there. I mean, I, you know, I ordered an iced coffee for a reason. I don't want to, I want it to be icy. You know what I'm saying? So, here we are, got an early start, it's not even, uh, not even lunch time yet, still breakfast time, so, Dunkin' Donuts it is, those tasty little hash browns, Rosie likes to swallow them. Went for the big meal today. Back in the day. Probably 10 years ago when I was scrapping cars. Price was almost 300 a ton. Making thousands. That was my go-to celebration. Sausage, egg, and cheese on an everything bagel. Everything. See what we got here. Melty, hot cheese goodness. That steam. Nice and hot. Toasted perfectly. The only thing about these make a mess. Vehicle starts to smell like everything seasoning after a while. My old friend Frank the Bank had a 1985 Oldsmobile Tornado front wheel drive 307 V8 glass packs emerald green metallic every single morning he would eat two everything bagels with cream cheese. Park at the lake and eat them. He ate so many of them. The whole car just stunk like everything. The seasoning, it all got into the seats and everything was awful. Make a gag to even ride in it. Boom. Oh. I know down the street his Jeep Wrangler uh, had a fire the other day uh, electrical fire started and burned the interior right out of it he got it put out before it got to the engine and stuff but it burnt everything inside Burnt the whole interior and the dash, all the wiring. Um, and even, it ruined the 
the top, you know, the removable hard top. So, another guy I know that has a shop and I pick up stuff from, he, uh, he likes Jeeps and he said, nope, he was friends, you know, friends with the guy that had the fire and he said, we're going to fix that, we're going to fix your Jeep. So, they went down to, um, actually right down near where we are right now, uh, junkyard sells parts. They bought that whole uh, 2000 Jeep Wrangler body, just the body, and uh, they just used all the parts out of it that they needed. His tub was in very nice condition, they just cleaned it out, took all the burnt stuff out. So they bought the whole tub from the junkyard they paid just under 1500 bucks for it said that was a good deal but I don't know they delivered it and uh, they took everything out and they threw all the burnt stuff back in the only thing I didn't get was the hard top some guy down the road needed that they gave it to him doesn't really matter. I mean, it would have been extra weight. It's not really metal anyway, so. So, of course, broken dreams. Got to pick up the crumbs. So I put that on and pulled it all the way to the front of the trailer one day. And it came on that big pallet. So I said, well, I'll take the pallet, too. So I strapped that to the back, and I extended off my trailer maybe a couple feet. Next morning, I went back to the um, clean-out I've been doing for, like, three years now, where I get all that interesting stuff, the, you know, the different mopeds and generators and small engine stuff and antiques, um... old lady's trying to clean up her husband was a hoarder still is but kind of sad, sad he's uh losing his mind doesn't really know what day it is but he goes for treatments for something i don't know what it is but um she wants to clean up because she don't want to be stuck with the whole mess one day when he passes away so you got to do it and that's the same house that I got the Raider plow and um, that Ram 50 and the first time I gave her some money because it was a couple vehicles but then I took some real crap out of there some some of those Ford truck beds and It was actually a lot of work, a lot of labor to clean up for very little money. But it paid off because she gave me a lot of good stuff that I've been selling and she doesn't mind. She actually follows me on Marketplace and she likes to see, you know, it's not like she's mad because I'm making money off the stuff. It's, she likes it. She, you know. She likes that I'm doing that, and she cheers me on, and, uh, sold that, that orange moped the other night, 200 bucks, delivered the ATV plow, 80 bucks for that, a whole bunch of stuff, I got a whole list on there for sale, but. So, I got sidetracked, but I said, the pallet's going to be perfect, because the next morning was Sunday morning, she wanted to do it, so it's kind of like, you know, I'm working for her, got to do what she wants, because she gives good stuff, 
went over there with both trucks, had my wife drive the black truck with the lift gate. Got a um, fire hydrant. All kinds of crap. But there was a truck cap. Very light truck cap sitting in the yard. And she really wanted that truck cap out of there. So I said, well, I'm going to make good use of that. I put it on that pallet, it fit absolutely perfect. And then just filled that with stuff. You like money? Money buys chicken. Is that what you want? Chicken? No? Alright. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 